Alrighty, so this is a build that we did for one of our clients not too long ago here that uh, JP on our team built out working with uh, Tom. So, you know, on the show, we do poke a little bit of fun here and there at Zoho Bookings. But, um, you know, while it does have some drawbacks, we do have a couple clients that are using it successfully for their sales and service bookings. Really, the trick is, is that if you are going to manage your entire calendar through bookings, then you might not have some of the main issues that we end up bumping into where, you know, you're syncing with uh, Google Calendar or Outlook and things are just not quite coming across. Um, and so for these clients, you know, Zoho Bookings allows some reporting and review of the data, um, but it's very limited on if you actually wanted to run some analytics around, you know, what's the most popular time of day, you know, what uh, what sales reps are doing the best at keeping their calendar open, et cetera, et cetera. And so what we did is using Zoho Flow, uh, which has a bunch of different triggers for bookings, you know, when something is booked, when it's rescheduled, if it's canceled, um, we can actually write that to a Zoho flow, um, kind of process the data a little bit there with some custom functions, and then drop it directly into Zoho Analytics. Um, it can also then update rows. So if there's a reschedule or a cancel, it's not adding a new one. It's actually searching the existing row on the booking ID and updating it accordingly. A um, couple little caveats with this is those triggers in flow are for all of your workspaces at once. You can't control it only to look at a specific workspace. So in this case, we wanted to have some different databasing depending on what workspace it was in. So we used a couple little decision trees and things like that to parse it into the right data tables. Um, but now that it's up and running, it's kind of a little bit of a set it and forget it where it's just going to keep running in the background and keeping this data set of all the various bookings accurate over inside Zoho Analytics. Very cool. Um, nice, nice implementation. You know, and as you said, Tyler, I mean, with Zoho Bookings, hey, you know, there are certain clients where it works perfectly well for because that's what they're using. And, uh, you know, they're own, they're not syncing out to external calendars. They're just kind of managing their internal bookings for their salon or whatever. And it can work exceptionally well. So uh, anyway, nice, uh, nice, John Paula. Very, very good. So JP comes through.